I am. I have chosen a book today that I'm sure a, some of you have probably seen the movie. But before the movie came out, it was one of my favorite books that my mom used to read to me as a kid. And in fact, this is my book when I was a kid. My mom actually had this in her classroom when she was teaching, and she taught over at Monta Vista. Uh, Monta Vista is here in Vista, for those of you that do not know, but my mom taught over there for 30 years, and this was one of the books that she would read to her uh, kindergartners when she taught kinder. Anyhow, I'm going to read the story of Ferdinand, and for those of you that may remember Liker, he was our school's first canine companion that I had uh, for 10 years at Hanalei, and I always thought of Liker as Ferdinand. So we're going to read the story of Ferdinand the Bull and see what you think. Izzy's kind of like a Ferdinand, but let's let's listen to the story and, and see what you think. Okay, now this book is so old, it has some torn pages. It has it's actually in black and white, and it's so old that the color, the pages have yellowed. It's been around a very long time in my family, and I, re I read it to my daughter, Shanna, and I also read it to my grandkids when they come over and spend the night. So here we go. The Story of Ferdinand. Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. All the other bulls he lived with would run around and jump and butt their heads together. But not Ferdinand. He liked to just sit quietly and smell the flowers. I actually think that's what Izzy is doing outside right now. He's in my garden. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture underneath a cork tree. It was his favorite tree, and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he'd be lonesome all by himself. There's his mom. Look at Ferdinand. He's just enjoying the view. Why don't you run and play with all the other bulls and skip and butt your head, she would say. But Ferdinand would just shake his head. I like it better here, where I can just sit quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw that he was not lonesome, and because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she let him just sit there and be happy. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was a very he was very big and strong. How big he got. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. But not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly underneath the cork tree and smell the flowers.
One day, five main men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fattest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. All the other bulls ran around snorting and budding, leaping and jumping, so the men would think they were very, very strong and fierce and would pick them. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him, and he didn't care. So he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. There he goes. Look at Ferdinand. He didn't look where he was sitting, and instead of sitting on nice, cool grass in the shade, he sat down on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat down on you, what would you do? You would sting him. And that is just what this bee did to Ferdinand. <gasps> Look at his eyes. Wow, did it hurt. Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting, budding and pawing the ground as if he was crazy. I've been stung before too, and it does hurt. The five men sat on him, and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest, the fiercest bull of them all. Just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. Here they come. They're super excited to choose the biggest, meanest bull of them all. So they took him away for the bullfight in a cart. There's Ferdinand. What a day it was. Flags were flying. Bands were playing. And all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. They had a parade into the bull ring. First came the bandoleros with long, sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick the bull and make him mad. Next came the picadors, who rode skinny horses, and they had long spears to stick in the bull and make him even madder. Oops, which way? There we are. Then came the matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome, and he bowed to the ladies, and he had a red cape and a sword, and he was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Oh, yes. Then came the bull. And you know who that bull was? Of course, it was Ferdinand. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ferdinand. Then they called him Ferdinand the Fierce. And all the bandoleros were afraid of him. And the picadors were afraid of him. And the matador was scared stiff. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought this was going to be the, because uh, they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and snick his horns around. But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers and all the lovely ladies' hair and he just sat down and smelled. He wouldn't fight and be fierce, no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled, and the bandoleros were mad, and the picadors were madder, and the matador was so mad, he cried because he couldn't show off his cape and his sword. Oh, look at him. So they had to take Ferdinand home. And for all I know, he is still sitting there under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly.
And he is very, very happy. The end. Well, I hope you liked one of my favorite books. And maybe you have seen the movie, like I said. I think I might just find it and watch it today myself. I hope all of you are safe and healthy and happy at home and try new things like cooking or doing puzzles, new games. Uh, Izzy and I really, really miss seeing all of you every day out on the playground or walking through the quad. Um, one day soon we'll all get together and uh, be able to uh, say hello and give big hugs. I love and miss you all, and you all take care. Bye.